All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a Fox Sports analyst who I don't talk too much about here on this channel, and it is Skip Bayless, and he was talking about Kay Cunningham and Jalen Green. Now, this is before the game yesterday against the Houston Rockets, before Kay Cunningham and Jalen Green played against each other, so keep that in mind when you're watching this clip, but basically, it's gonna be Skip Bayless talking about the Pistons may regret taking Kay Cunningham over Jalen Green after the game last night. Now again, this was before the game started, but still I wanted to share this with you guys. And just overall, I wanna give you guys my opinion on you know, Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless is the guy who actually is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to become a sports broadcaster and just talk about basketball and sports. You know, growing up watching First Take and when he went over to FS1 with Shannon Sharp, you know, he was one of the big inspirations for me to wanna to start talking about sports. But that was when I was younger and as I've gotten older, Unfortunately, you know, I started to recognize that Skip Bayless does say a lot of things just to get people talking, you know, the hot takes, the hot clips, you know, that does get frustrating. And then a take like this, you know, it is annoying to hear and kind of frustrating to hear, but I still try to have respect for someone like Skip Bayless because he did inspire me to go on this path of sports broadcasting. So yeah, play the clip, man. We did a topic at the end of Monday's show on the fly in like 30 seconds. Right. And I told you, I just have a sneaking suspicion that Jalen Green is going to prove to this league he should have gone number one. Mm -hmm. And that's to take nothing away from Cade Cunningham because clearly Cade is the better all-around basketball mm -hmm. player. He's more of a floor general. He can do it all. Right. He can literally do it all. But I watched Cade Cunningham a whole lot at Oklahoma State last year, a whole lot. I watched both of his NCAA games against Liberty and Oregon State. Won the first one, lost the second one. He really struggled in those two playoff caliber, mm -hmm. you know, playoff games. Mm -hmm. I'm not completely sold on him as the number one overall as an explosive athlete. I, right. Once you get against bigger, more athletic right. defenders, right. he may have a little harder time because right. he doesn't have supreme quickness. No. This other kid, Jalen Green, he is he is shrewder quick because the one thing you, you, you can't take away from Jalen Shooter, he is lightning yes. quick, right? Yes. So is Jalen Green at six feet, six inches tall. Right. He plays so fast that sometimes he plays too fast. And at the first of the game, he said at his halftime interview, I was just playing a little too fast. Right. He was a little too amped up. Right. But he is so lightning quick coming off picks, and he gets his shot up so quick. You know, you, you know his athletic, athleticism remind you of, Skip? He reminds you of a young, skinny Tracy McGrady. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying he's going to be Tracy McGrady because before Tracy McGrady no, had those I, knee I remember issues, him. T-Mag was like oh, that. Oof. But this kid, he has that kind of athleticism. You, you just can't defend it. No. Because he goes up so quick and shoots it so high. And, and he's he sweet, man. He's got yeah. sweet touch range. And to your point, when you only get 11 shots up, remember, he's playing without a point guard right now. Let's right. let him get with the Rockets. Let, right. Let's see what happens. Right. If you can get, run some plays for him right. and get him more shots. Right. He takes 11 shots and scored 25, and Cade takes 18 shots and scores 20. Right. Well, I, I'm going to give a slight advantage to Jalen, even right. though Cade, especially in the first half when they were matched up one-on-one, -on -one, Cade got him two or three yeah. times, and yeah. he got him on a fast break where he just powered right through Do him it, and then dumped it off. For, yeah. So, uh, again, I'm taking nothing away from Cade, but listen, Jalen Green made the decision to go straight from high school to that G League right. team, and I think it benefited him yeah. because he looked like he was a little more advanced maybe than Cade was at the summer league mm -hmm. level because he's been playing with pros. pros. So yeah, Pistons fans. So he basically implied that the Pistons may, after last night's game, regret taking Cade Cunningham over Jalen Green. You know, that's pretty ridiculous, man. To all the people, and I mean all the people out there who keep calling Cade Cunningham a bust, please leave my channel. If you're subscribed to my channel, unsubscribe. You don't know basketball. If you're telling me after two summer league games that you're calling one man a bust, you don't know basketball. You literally don't know basketball. They said the same thing about Zion Williamson. They said the same thing about Trey Young. They said the same thing about LeBron James. All three of those players did not play good in their first summer league games, and they were calling them a bust. Trey Young didn't play good the entire summer league, and everybody was calling him a bust. Look where he is now. He just led the Atlanta Hawks to an Eastern Conference Finals appearance. LeBron James, 
top five basketball player of all time. You know, you can't base after one or two summer league games and call someone a bust. So if you're one of those people who's calling K Cunningham a bust, please leave my channel. You don't know basketball. You obviously didn't watch the first two games against the Thunder and the Rockets, and you truly don't understand how development works in the NBA. And to all the people out there who keep calling Jalen Green the next Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, I could put the images on the screen. I had tuned into a Rockets live stream yesterday after the game, and they kept calling Jalen Green the next Kobe or the next Michael Jordan. Just stop it, man. I'm a Jalen Green fan as well, okay? I've been following him since his third year in high school. I'm a big fan of him, but am I about to be out here calling him the next Kobe Bryant or the next Michael Jordan? No, that is absolutely ridiculous. These dudes are 19 year olds, man. They're not even 20 years old yet. They can't even go out and get a drink legally at this current time. Stop with the over comparisons and the overreactions to all of these guys in Summer League, man. Two games in the Summer League, you're calling Jalen Green the next Michael Jordan. You're calling Kay Cunningham a bust. Absolutely ridiculous, man. Straight absolutely ridiculous. Kay Cunningham in his first two games played great defense, showed off the playmaking ability. In the first game, he wasn't as aggressive, but in game two, he showed progression and started attacking the hole and started scoring the basketball from three-point land and just overall showed improvement from game one to game two. So Kay Cunningham, to me in these first two games, showed me a lot. And Jalen Green again, another player, young player who I'm very high on, showed me a lot in game one and game two. We know what Jalen Green is. He's a fantastic scorer. He's showing off the scoring ability and on defense, he's actually not playing that bad. He's playing about average on defense. So shouts out to him on offense and defense. No hate to Jalen Green, but for the people out there who's saying that Kay Cunningham is a bust, and for the people who are saying that Jalen Green is the next Michael Jordan, you are stupid, you are ridiculous, stop saying that. And as far as to get Bayless saying that the Pistons may end up regretting taking Jalen Green, that's just ridiculous, man. Come on, Skip, I liked you when I was younger. You were one of my biggest favorite sports broadcasters out there, but to make a take like this, it's just absolutely ridiculous, man. It's straight ridiculous. The Pistons don't regret taking Kay Cunningham at all. We actually seen it last night. Kay Cunningham won that battle straight up against Jalen Green. He was locking Jalen Green down when they were going head to head up against each other. Jalen Green didn't start scoring points until Kay Cunningham came out the game. When Kay Cunningham was guarding Jalen Green, I think Jalen only scored like three or five points. Like I remember he hit one three pointer in the fourth quarter, but for most of the game, Kay Cunningham was locking down Jalen Green. So Skip, this is a bad take. You shouldn't have said this. I know that you didn't flat out come out and say that Jalen is better than Kay, but you heavily implied a man. So hold this ill. I seen a lot of people calling on you earlier. Don't make takes like this, man. This is ridiculous. This is too premature. Kay Cunningham is not a bust. Jalen Green is not the next Michael Jordan. These are both young, talented players who are gonna continue to improve in their NBA careers. Please stop with the overreactions, man. So Pistons fans, and if I have any Rockets fans watching, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 3K, and I'm out.